What we're actually looking at here is a musical clock. And this musical clock can be derived as follows. Each of these are musical notes. And each of the musical notes on this 24 quarter tone chromatic scale starts off with here of 514 hertz, then 528, then 544, 561, 576, and 594. Now you can see these dots that you see here. This is actually in this quarter tone arrangement. So 514 is in a 432 hertz precise temperament tuning scale. I left off the decimal extensions because I just wouldn't have enough room to place them here. And 528 is the precise temperament tuning uh, value for the uh, 528 uh, hertz precise temperament tuning scale. The two wrap into each other just like DNA and they end up right at the half or semitone or you know quarter tone positions of each other. And then I realized looking at it that this is exactly what we're seeing when we look at the notes of an octave. We have C, D, E, F, G, A, B and then repeating to C again and that's seven notes within the octave but then we have 24 hours in each day. So I realize that this is actually a clock. We're starting off with C, and that's 514 hertz. Then we're going to 576, then 648, 685, 771, 864, 972, and 1028. And that each of these days of the week, Monday being moon day, actually shape of the letter C is the same as the moon as well. And you see all these kind of correspondences that are matching up along these lines, like Friday being Phi Day as well, the thing being Phi Day as well, the fifth day of the week. And the, the note there is G, which of course represents the throat chakra. So you can see each one of these, Monday is the root, the sacral, solar plexus, the heart, throat, pineal crown, and then back to root again. And then you can see that even numerically, these also relate to each other, where two pairs with seven, to add to nine, right? Two also pairs with five because one over two is 0.5 and one over five is 0.2. So then three pairs to six and four and five pair at the center of this wave, each of these becoming the wave of each week. Now, what this does is you look at it and then say, okay, well, what about the 60 minutes and the 60 seconds within each minute? And what we're really looking at here is an amplitude of astrological and astronomical conjunctions obviously, that then form musical notes. And these musical notes are accomplished within this. This also mirrors the prime number pattern. So now we could take each of the musical notes, we could play for the Monday at a certain time. So Monday at, you know, let's say it's Monday at 1.30 uh, uh, a.m. So Monday at 1.30 a.m. would give us first 528 hertz, right? So we would have Monday, so the loudest one's gonna be the 514. So then 528 hertz would be probably some amplitude, maybe 10 times less, I'm not sure yet, like a fractal. And then there would be another one that's gonna be if it's at 130, which is gonna be halfway through. So then you're gonna be halfway through this scale again, so it's probably gonna be somewhere on the order of F is gonna be the minute and then if it's exactly at zero seconds, then we're back here at C. So you're gonna have C of 514, C of 528, and then you're going to have 685 over here, right, for the minutes, and then the seconds are gonna be back at 514 again. And you could play these tones together and have a new way of experiencing time. So these tones actually are creating time and then you could even ascribe it to colors because each of these have colors associated with them. So what we're really looking at here is a 24 color matrix within what we call one octave of sound. So it's giving us greater differentiation. It's like going up to a high def screen. And so we could create whole new ways of experiencing time through light and sound together. So I'm actually working on something like that right now, which is kind of fascinating. But when you think this through, and then what happens is for each hour, then you have 60 minutes. And why is it 60? Well, because that's again, the one plus one 24th, because 24 times 24 comes out to 576, 
plus the 124th rounds us out to 60. And the same thing happens again for 60 seconds. And then we could take this from macro view and then realize that you've got 15 days that creates one compass value of 1.296 million seconds because you have 86,400 second notes in a day. And then 15 days completes a compass. And then how many times does that fit into 360 days of a year? Well, it fits 24 times. <laughs> Amazing. So basically our entire year is then falling into this 24-ness. And when we looked at the precession of the equinox as well, the precession of equinox is actually 25,920 years on its long cycle, but it's only 21,600 on its short cycle. And the average between those two is 24,000. So we're on a clock, a giant clock of prime numbers that relates to music and time.